What's up guys, Blizzard Productions here, back with another video, and today, I'm gonna be starting something new, it's gonna be called Tier List Tuesday, and it's basically how it sounds, every Tuesday I'm gonna come out with a new tier list, this one's gonna be a Christmas movie one, so I'm gonna be ranking how I think each Christmas movie is, and if they're good, bad, in the middle, legendary, so, I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get into it. So this is what the tier list looks like. So at the very bottom is all the movies that I'll be ranking. And then above that is the actual tier list. At the bottom of the tier list is movies I've never seen before. Above that is who even thought this was a good idea to make, which means movies that are just complete garbage and that I would never watch and I'm not sure who thought it was a good idea to make it up. Then on top of that is not my top pick, but if it's on, I'll watch it, which means that I probably would never watch it by myself. But if it was on in a room, I would probably watch it. Above that is I would watch it every week. So they're not the best movies, but they're still pretty good movies and I would watch it every week. And then above that is legendary movies that I would watch every single day. So let's get into it. First up, we have It's a Wonderful Life. I've personally never watched this, but it looks like an original, judging by the way that the cover looks and just how the hairstyle is. Next up, we have Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, this one's a little tricky. I do like the movie, but it is like a combination of Halloween and Christmas, so I am going to put it in not my top pick, but I'll watch it if it's on. But can someone please tell me if this is a Halloween or a Christmas movie? I think it's a Christmas movie, but kind of hard to tell because it's a combination of Halloween and Christmas. Next up, we had The Gremlins. Oh, I'm just going to say this right now. I hate this movie so much. My mom put this on for me and my sister about two years ago, thinking that was a Christmas movie. I think this is a straight-up horror movie, and I hate this movie so much. I'm not sure who thought that this was a good idea to make. On to the next one. Now we've got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is a Christmas original. If I was about 7 or 8, I would probably put it in the legendary, but because it's original, I'm going to put it in. I watch it every week. Otherwise, I'd probably put it down below in the not my top pick, but since it's original, same with Frosty the Snowman, so I'm going to also put that up here. But I think both of them are really good movies, and it just makes the holiday spirit even more joyful. It makes it just feel really Christmassy. Next up, we have Miracle on 34th Street. I've actually never seen this movie, but I have heard a lot of good things about it, and it is on my Christmas to watch list. Next up, we have Star. Now, I've personally never seen this movie, but my sister has, and I've heard that it's pretty good. I heard that it's funny, and it's something to do with, like, saving the first Christmas or some type of adventure with the donkey and animals. But I've heard it's funny, and I think I want to watch it one day, but I just haven't seen it yet. On to the next movie. All right, now we have A Christmas Story. Now, I know this is my mom's favorite movie, and, I mean, I think that's okay. I mean, I could put it up in the I'll watch it every week, but I think it would get boring after a while. It is sometimes a slow movie, and there is some humor in it, and I do like the you'll shoot your eye out because I think that is pretty funny. But besides that, I think that the movie can be a little slow at times, and it's not my top pick, but I will watch it if it is on. Next up, we got Home Alone, immediately going up to the I'll watch it every single day category. I love this movie so much. I love how the kid just makes all these traps that the two bad guys are falling for. I always think like, ooh, that's got to kill them. In real life, most of those will actually kill you. So don't try that as a prank on your parent. But just saying one and two are the best ones. Three and four, I disliked so much. I think they kind of ruined it. And then number five is the new one. Actually, it's number six is the new one, Home Sweet Home Alone. And I think that looks pretty good, but I have not had the time to watch it yet. But I still think that one and two are going to be my favorite. On to the next movie. Now we have Elf. I also love this movie so much. I think that's really funny. And it has Will Ferrell, one of my favorite actors. So I'm definitely putting that into that. I will watch it every single day. I think that it is straight up comedy. And I love this movie. 
Now we've got Ernest Saves Christmas. I've actually never heard of this movie, but just looking at the cover, it looks a little weird. So I'm not sure how I would think of the movie and not sure if I even want to see it. Next up, we have Noel. This movie, I think, is pretty good. It definitely has a lot of comedy, and it has some similarities to Elf, but not, like, super similar. I would put in the not my top pick, because even though that I know that Elf is more for also younger generation, also, I think Noel is more for the younger generation. I think that Elf can be for both of younger and older. So, I would say Noel is not my top pick, but I'll watch it if it's on. Next up, we have The Polar Express. I loved this movie as a kid, and I still really do like this movie. I would put it up here to I'll watch it every single day because I think that this movie is great. And I've actually experienced it on a train called The Polar Express, and I like the hot chocolate song. And I think this movie also goes very well with having hot chocolate and just snuggling up as cozy as you can get now we've got the charlie brown christmas i think this is a great movie as a kid and i still think that it is a decent movie i think that it is a little too childish to be up in that i'll watch it every day but i mean another movie that if i was about six or seven years old i'd definitely have it up in that i'll watch it every day it's a christmas original and still i do love the peanuts and charlie brown Next up, we got the original Grinch. Now, I think that this movie is pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't put it on if it was just me. But if there was other people that wanted to watch it, I'm fine with watching it. But the other Grinch is that here. Yep, I do have the Grinch, the live action one. I actually do not like this movie. And I do know that a lot of people like the live action version of it. But in my opinion, I think that the characters look a little odd and weird. And I just don't like it for whatever reason. So original Grinch, I'm putting in not my top pick. And the live action Grinch, I'm putting in who would think of this. Now we're on to our final four. So first up, we have the Mickey's Christmas. And I would say that this one is decent, but it's not my top pick. And I'll watch it only if it's on. It is a pretty good one i could put it up here if i was six or seven but it's it's decent i i do like disney a whole lot still but i'm not that much into mickey actually i'm not into him at all anymore but as a kid i really liked him as a kid i really liked this movie so i'm gonna put it in not my top pick Next up, we got The Muppets Christmas. I'm just going to cut straight to it. I disliked The Muppets forever. I think that they were weird characters and nothing else to say about it. Next up, we have Santa Claus. Now, I'm going to put this in the I will watch it every week. It is worthy of going up to I'll watch it every day. But the three movies that are up there are better, in my opinion, than Santa Claus. I think... Don't get me wrong, Santa Claus is pretty funny, and I do like the movie, but I just don't think it's good enough to be up in the I'll watch it every day. Last but not least, we have what appears to be the Hallmark movies. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they're Hallmark movies, and if so, I would put it... Uh, well, I'm not really sure about this. I have not seen a lot of them, but they are always on at my grandma and grandpa's house during Christmas, and... Uh, some I don't really like, but I mean, I have not seen a lot of them to say that they're bad and they are not good. So I think because of that, I have to put it up in the not my top pick because I have watched a couple of them and some seem pretty good and some are pretty bad. So I don't know about this one, but I do like some of them. The thing about Hallmark is is that you can tell what's going to happen in the first three minutes and what the ending's going to be. But besides that, they're decent. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. I do come out with videos every single week, and now I'm going to have Tier List Tuesday. So I'm looking forward to seeing my future Tier List that will come out with, and I hope that you guys are too. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time.